Hey guys, this is Evan Kelt. We're in Camden Town. We're outside the Good Mixer. We've got a fantastic gig tonight with Paul Mad Dog McGuinness and his band Ashling. And um, you'll all know this guy from the Popes, and you played with the Pogues, and got yeah. a, a quite well, a colourful history. Yeah, I uh, originally started playing with the Pogues back in the middle, the mid '90s. Um, their guitarist Philip Chevron was sick at the time, and I was roadieing for them. And uh, they just asked me one night, would I step, stop doing roadieing, and did I know any of the songs? And I started, I used to play the songs during the sound check. So the band had heard me play, yeah. so they knew I could play guitar. So they asked me to stand in for Philip Chevron. So uh, that it was a night in France, I think it was a gig in Paris we were playing. And uh, Shane was quite impressed with my playing. So he, when he left the Pogues for a brief while, he asked me to start a band. So that's how the Shane McGowan and the Pope started back in the mid 90s. Nice, I like yeah. it. And the reason I've called uh, this band Ashling is because that's what my daughter's name oh, is, okay. Ashling. And Ashling, in Irish, it's the name for premonition. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's why I've called it Ashling. And, uh, you know, I gigged for right up until the early 2000s. And then I tragically had an accident with a car, ran me down and I suffered a severe brain injury. And uh, I was out in hospital in the Homerton for about two years. So after I came out of a coma and I began to start recovering and uh, they gave me lots of therapy I had to do because I think there's um, maybe a million and a half people suffer in Britain every year for having uh, a brain injury. So I was very lucky to make a recovery mm. because I used to go down to various organizations that were for people who had brain injuries and uh, I knew by all the people that I was meeting, I was quite lucky because my recovery was quite good. I was very lucky, and uh, I'm delighted to be back playing guitar. Yeah, so thank you really very good. much. No, no, no. For yeah, because we tonight. we've known each other quite a while now. Yeah. We did some some Patrick's Day right. two years ago now. Yeah. I think it is. Yeah. And um, when did this band? How did you meet the guys? I well, think we've met um, Anthony from Shackle Free. That's right. Um, what about the rest of them? How did it come well, about? Well, I'm going out with. A, really lovely girl from Hampstead called Dawn Zimbler and uh, I want I kept on going over to see Dawn and I was playing some sessions in a pub in the King William up in Hampstead and uh, I met all the band there and Dawn yeah. slowly started introducing me to all her friends mm. so then I began playing with them regularly at the sessions and then I took the five you know musicians I liked the most yeah. and uh, started to ask them to start a band so that's how my band started it's not long now and we're still just getting tight but it's slowly getting there yeah and, yeah. It's, and i think it's been good yeah it's been therapy in itself it hasn't is, yeah. it like well, it re has. rewriting I mean, and singing yes that's right i don't think uh i would have recovered quite as quickly if i hadn't been doing having something to do so i think doing music has helped me because initially i couldn't walk and your brain is responsible yeah for all your bodily functions going to the toilet. Like at one stage, you know, you won't believe this, but at one stage in hospital, you know, I had such a severe brain injury that uh, I had to wear a nappy. Yeah. yeah. You know, uh -huh. that was because I, you know, couldn't yeah, hold, yeah, withhold yeah, my messages, and, messages stuff. and stuff. Yeah, so, but that, you know, I recovered from that very quickly. And uh, I think that happens to a lot of people who have got brain injuries. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I'm slowly, slowly starting to write new songs again, and I've just written a new song, and we put a new EP out, and the new EP is all called Winter in London, and that's a song that I've written called Winter in London. Okay. So we're selling something tonight at the gig, and I hope if anybody's interested, look for it. It's called it's called Winter in London, and it's by Mad Dog and his band Ashley. Yeah, we'll put some links uh, yeah. below. Thank you. So um, you actually played as part of the Grenville, the charity. That's game, right, yeah. yeah. I was uh, a bit disappointed because I expected more people to be there. Mm. But it was a good day and uh, it was great to be able to do something for people who had, you know, were victims just like yeah, myself. Yeah, of course, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. 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 Have, you, uh, have you got good, good memories of the, being in the Popes and stuff? Yeah. Is there any highlights of what's yeah, the best, there the best is, moments? Well, there's lots of highlights and I've lots of stories to tell you about Shane. Can't tell everything on camera, obviously. No. <laughs> um, but uh, Shane is probably 
know, Shane actually employed all the band to be his band and be the bunch of musicians. And I can honestly say that Shane is the best. It's the best job I ever had was working for Shane. Yeah. He's a very good guy. He's a really nice man. Yeah. And, uh, you know, people are always talking about the amount of alcohol he consumes and, uh, you know, how out of it he is. But believe me, you know, he's not out of it as you think he is. Yeah. He's very in command. Yeah, he's a good man. You know eh? what goes on. So, um, are we looking at um, an album? Are you going to work on an album? Um, get an album well, we're just going to get this out and maybe after Christmas, I'll start around January or February of next year. Yeah. I'll start maybe trying to record a full album. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so when's this single, when can we hear this new single? Then? Um, well, it's a new, new EP, it's out now. Um, I'm just going to, I've just got it, so I'm just going to start sending it out to the various radio stations and asking people to play mm -hmm. it. So, uh, you know, if you want a copy, well, you'd be able to read about it. You can look at the links that you put in yeah, there. Yeah. Up on the web. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so um, we're about to go on stage. Well, you're yeah. about to go on stage, I'm not. I'm going to watch. Um, so, um, yeah, follow the links below. Support this guy, he's amazing. I admire you so much. You've, you've Thank got you. brilliant history and you've been on a brilliant journey. You know, yeah. an admiration to anyone. So, yeah. let's go and enjoy the gig. Okay, I'd just like to say that. Um, I hope you get a copy of the EP because any of the profits from the EP are going to go to uh, the Silver Lining Charity. That's people who uh, look after and look out for people who've had received a brain injury. So thanks for listening and uh, buy the single and all the proceeds go to Silver Lining. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Thanks to Bunny. Is it possible for a request? Yeah. Would you do an a cappella version of your favourite number? I'll sing you. Uh, um, I'd sing you the, the, my favourite song that I've written. It's a song called Angels. And I think it's very appropriate because, you know, I've had an awful lot of people who've helped me to recover since I had my brain injury. So this is for them. And it goes like this. Your pockets may be empty, your shoes wearing thin, or the ground that you walk on. About to cave in, your load may be heavy, the road may be long, but just you keep walking. You gotta keep on, gotta keep on, keep on walking on. The angels are coming. They're gonna come running. The angels are coming. Gonna carry me. Gonna carry me home. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.